Good evening. Good evening and welcome to Merkin Hall. My name is Kate Sheeran. I'm the executive director here at Kaufman Music Center. And I'm also a super fan of Peter Dugan and Charles Yang and all of the students at Kaufman Music Center. <laughs> So I've been excited for this concert for a very long time. Welcome to Kids Play the Darndest Things. We are going to have a great time this evening. Uh, uh, you will laugh, you will be touched, and you will see the magic of Peter and Charles, who have been our artists in residence all season. And this is the celebration event, the culmination event of their residency. And you'll hear from them about how they worked in every corner of the center with all different kinds of students. And you'll get to see a lot of that collaboration uh, live here tonight. Peter and Charles are the kind of artists that we are so delighted to uh, have our students work with. They're not only exemplary musicians, they're kind humans, they're great teachers, and they're fun. So we love that our students have had them to look up to all year and to work with them, and I know you'll enjoy seeing this collaboration come to life tonight. I also want to thank John Glover, our Director of Artistic Planning, who came up with the catchy title, D uh, Kids Play the Darndest Things, and this show. <laughs> And of course, Egal Kesselman, the music director of Special Music School and director of Lucy Moses School, who, who shaped this program with our students and with our artists. <clears throat> so welcome to the party. Let's let the celebration commence. And here are the wonderful Peter Dugan and Charles Yang.
And, uh, well, we are not kids. We might look like kids. Yeah, that's why we wore the extra big sweatshirts, is to convince <laughs> you that maybe to, Yeah, well, I just said we are not kids, and someone went, aww. aww. <laughs> well, I think internally we still are kids, and our minds, as musicians, we're constantly curious all the time, so we're very much kids in that way, where we got that yeah, curiosity. It's been really great working with the Coffee Music, Music Center and all the departments, because it's just so inspiring to see the students, these kids, just inspire people like us who have been on the road for a couple years now, you know? Yeah. Um, and uh, that was a piece written, yeah, y'all know that song that we just played? Yeah, it's a, it's a song we wrote a long time ago. <laughs> it was written a long time ago. It, it, of course, Yankee Doodle. But this sp uh, specific piece was written by Henri Vuitton. Am I French? Nicely. Pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> Called Souvenir d'Amérique, which is Souvenir to America, right? Of America? Something. Something like America, that. Yes. But America's Henri Vuitton was a, a very famous violinist back in the day, back in the 1800s and came to America and went back and wrote this piece. He heard Yankee Doodle and thought he'd write a little variation on it. Um, and just to know that this was going on in the 1800s, and even before that, Mozart, you know, with variations on Twinkle Twinkle, um, and all these different composers using folk elements, it just tells how curious and how um, relatable music is, no matter what genre it is. So that's what we're going to explore here tonight. Indeed. And the next song, <laughs> you like that? Indeed. <laughs> Indeed. And the next song we're going to perform for you uh, is sort of similar in the, to that, what, what you just heard, in that it's a popular song that uh, we've taken and put our own spin on it, only instead of Yankee Doodle, this one's by Ariana Grande. And uh, yeah. See, we are, we're, we're kids. We're kids at heart. We like, um, we like it cool. Yeah. So anyway, this is a, a song by Ariana Grande called Break Free, and uh, this is our take on it.
we, our... We didn't think it through when we decided to wear sweatshirts. <laughs> second song, and it's like a water park in here. <laughs> But uh, these are very comfortable, by the way. Yeah, I'm you... not just saying this. I got this for free. But uh, if, Yeah, but if... when was the last time you went to a concert? Let me ask you this. Let me ask you all this. When was the last time yeah. you went to a concert and the artists were wearing clothes that you could go and buy yourself <laughs> right after the show? What? This is a new thing. This, this is a great idea. Yeah. You're absolutely right, Peter. <laughs> Yeah, absolutely right. Well, before we bring on um, the main event, um, yeah, we thought we'd do one more song. This was actually conceived a couple days ago. Um, <laughs> this is what happens with Peter and I. We just do things on the spot. But this one came together because we had a radio interview, actually, that we did here at the Coffee Music Center um, for a podcast. And, um, you know, just like how we came in this year... Um, and hopefully inspired some students. Uh, we, when we were at school at Juilliard, we met uh, someone named Jesse Colin Young, who was part of the Young Bloods. Yeah, we got some Jesse Colin Young fans, yeah. Um, and we met him while we were at Juilliard, and he was this rock star just living out in South Carolina and thinking that classical musicians and a rock star, how could we get along, but we learned so much from each other. We talked music all day, um, and still we're, we're, we're still inspired by this man and um, how much he's given to us uh, musically. So this, yeah, we're gonna do a, a song that yeah. he's best known for, um, and it's a you know it's a song from <laughs> decades ago, but the the message of it is as beautiful today as it was then. And um, just want to say, like knowing this guy. Um, He's the real deal. So when you hear, you know, the words of this song or any any of his music, just know that it comes from the truest place of um, just wanting peace and love in this in this world. So here we go.
you hear the song I sing, you will understand. You hold the key to love and fear, all in your trembling hand. Just one key unlocks them both. Is there at your is getting to work with the amazingly talented kids from here at the Calvin Music Center. And we're going to start by featuring a young cellist, Griffin, who um, we've been hearing him all year long during the course of this residency. And um, when, we, when we got together to talk about what kinds of music we were going to do on this show, one of the very first things that Charles and I knew we wanted was to play a piano trio with this young man. He's a terrific musician, and um, that's what we're going to do. Uh, as you can see, we're going to be um, ho hosting as well as performing today, so you'll see us moving some furniture around and everything. It's just the living room here. Act like it's the living room. <laughs> and now, put your hands together for Mr. Woo! Griffin Frost. Yeah!
applause, everybody. Oh, it's your turn, Peter. It's crazy. I mean, <laughs> the first day we, uh, the first thing we ever had with um, the Coffee Music Center was we went to special music school and um, and just witnessed some amazing talents. Griffin, they told us, was borrowed from eighth grade because he wasn't in high school. He was borrowed. He's in eighth grade, and he's just like, the future is so bright. You know, <laughs> I think it's. Uh, unbelievable to have such a great program where everyone's surrounded by musicians and um, you know it just kind of encourages people to work and want to you know thirst for more music and you can really tell that from all of these musicians um, oh what's next oh this is your job to know oh, this is my job yes we got we got Shostakovich this is violin time it's violin it's time. It's violin time, baby. We're going to bring on Biana, Rebecca, Enya, Saren, and Julia. Give a round of applause. Woo! What's up? The violin squad. The name of this game is called Musical Chairs. The problem was, like, they're all so dang good. So we have to play with all of them. So, we're, so it's this rotating musical chairs situation so that you all can hear these five amazing talents. There's six violinists on stage, but we don't need to talk about Charles right now. <laughs>
concludes violin hour and now piano hour begins it's piano time and that means you've got to work Charles you know what to do we're going to it was pretty fun seeing those chairs all full of violinists but how many how many people can we fit here at the piano that's the question you know this the plan for this um, for this concert started last year when you're doing well Charles just you could use the extra workout one day your muscles will be big and strong. Um, so we had this idea about a year ago when we first spoke with John Glover, who is just the greatest, by the way. You are John Glover. And, and, um, and the problem was that the more that we learned about everything that goes on here at the Calvin Music Center, the more that we just wanted to work with everyone. We couldn't decide, like, how do we choose just special music school or face the music or all these amazing programs. Uh, so that's why tonight was born of this idea of let's try to cram as much joy and wonderful collaboration into one night as possible. And also, let's try to cram as many pianists onto one piano as possible. And with that, let's see, what did you manage to fit here, Charles? How many? How many did you, you got four? Okay, let's get four pianists on this piano. Please welcome Aaliyah, yeah. Selena, and Anna. Ladies, please be seated. Now, Charles, um, I don't want you to feel left out here. So, um, would you, you wanna, why don't you pull up a chair? Ooh. We're gonna have eight hands, might as well. You need some iPad page turning? You can turn my pages, um, but I just don't want you too far away. This is oh, good. wow. Well, thank you very much. You're Actually, inclu very inclusive. You wanna teach Charles how to play the piano real quick? Oh, absolutely. It's, it's extremely easy. All you do is press this key. That's it? That's For the piano, it's just this key? You know piano now. Oh. All right, have a seat. Thank you, Roger. My education today. Thank uh, you very much. That's 
That concludes piano time. And <laughs> Charles got to make his piano debut. I didn't know you were going to hit the ground. I did not hit him that hard. Yeah, I didn't. Uh, we're trying to make an Oscar moment out of that. Um, uh, too, soon. <laughs> too soon. Too soon. Too soon. Too soon. Uh, <laughs> you kids, don't don't listen to what I said. Someone, someone thought it was just the right time. I appreciate that. Uh, okay. Yeah. Uh, What's next? We're not in this one, Peter. Yeah, we are. We have one more before that we go. Oh, our we are. Break. Yeah. And oh, this one, we this, are in this one. This stems from. Um, that's You're going right. to talk about this. I'm going to move chairs. I'm going to help. Okay, you, you, you got chairs. this? Yeah. Um, we're kind of not really in this one because it's such a song. Um, this is me trying to save myself. This song, when I heard it, um, when we heard it at the songwriting, uh, Face the Music um, workshop, the songwriting workshop, just blew us away how the lyrics were just so deep and the the chord progressions were so pure and um, we just had to showcase this and had to be a part of it. We kind of slid our way into wanting to perform uh, this song. Uh, this song's called Bed Bedroom Light. 
by Harper Love, and um, you're just going to be blown away by this. And look out on the radio for this song, because it's just so gorgeous. So let's bring out Harper. Give it up for Harper Love, everybody.
Bravo. So we get a short break now while you all get to enjoy a beautiful piano quintet. Uh, this was the very first thing that Charles and I did as part of our residency this year. We got to go and coach some chamber music at Special Music School. And um, we were just blown away by this quintet. Um, you've already seen most of them on stage already, except for you haven't met Isabella yet, who's going to be up here, and you haven't met Jesse yet. And um, other than that, everyone will be familiar faces. And uh, it's going to be a little bit more Dvorak. We had some Dvorak earlier. And you can never get too much Dvorak. And, um, can't have too much Dvorak. Can't have too much Dvorak. Then after that, we're going to come back out for one more f uh, finale. And we'll tell you about that when we are back on stage. And this is me just killing time. <laughs> Thank you so much, everyone. You're doing a great job, Peter Dugan. Is, it, is this not incredible, just the level of musicianship here? I'm sorry, while I hold this chair, it's... I'm pretty sad this is the last, uh, but I, I'm definitely gonna come, I'm definitely gonna keep following these people's careers because it's just, um, I think our music world is in for a treat with this generation. we'll be wearing these sweatshirts to every concert hall in America. Yeah, that's right. Okay. Still thinking? Please welcome the quintet whose name is yet to be determined. They don't have a group name yet, but they will because they're all stars. Here they are. Isabella. Isabelina, Rebecca, Jesse, Griffin! Griffin!
Yeah, one more time. Jesse, Griffin, Felina, Rebecca, and Isabella. Awesome, awesome performance. So just a few days ago, Charles and I plus Enya and Julia, and we all got together and uh, Charles and I asked, um, have any of you ever improvised before? And no one uh, raised their hand. And we were like, oh, okay, because we're improvising on Friday. That's program's already set. Uh, so let's do this. And we were absolutely blown away by the ears and the creativity. Uh, not only can all of these musicians play the, the standard repertoire at the highest level, as you've heard, but they also have great creativity and um, imagination. And as you probably can tell, Charles and I really value that a lot when it comes to making music, being able to be spontaneous. And so what we're gonna do for you now is totally spontaneous and unrehearsed. And, um, and we just applaud the bravery and the, and the courage and the imagination of oh, all they, of you. They were brave from the start. I, I just wanna point out that today during dress rehearsal, you know, we saved it for the very end because it's improv. We're gonna improv, improv. We're not gonna plan out improv. But, uh, but we were, we were trying to figure out what we're gonna do and, and they just started to do something. It was awesome um, for someone that was really scared around your age to like go out there and be vulnerable and improvise stuff that's not on the page. Um, I was nothing like this. So this is a great trait and it's a great tool that hopefully y'all will be able to see. So, yeah, start it off, baby.
right, all right. This is on. Can you hear me? Keep, keep going. This is pretty awesome, right? Some of these, some of the, some of these players up here have had not even heard of the blues scale before, and we taught them the blues scale only a couple days ago. And you're hearing some blues right now. And it's pretty awesome. So for our last song, we thought we'd bring on everybody from tonight to come on to stay, uh, come on to the stage to do one last number. You guys down with that? Woo! What's up? Should crumble to the sea. Yeah. 